was recruited by the NFL, the National Football League, the one that plays the Super Bowl every year, the one with these monster athletes. Well, okay. I was not recruited as a player, <laughs> as you might see, but to run the fan development and talent scouting department in Germany. Probably now you're asking yourself, am I in the right talk? Isn't this supposed to be about blockchain technology? And this guy talks about sports? I will talk about blockchain identity in a very personal way, not technical, more in a way that relates to the world as you know it. When I was hired by the NFL, it was the first time someone, Marshall Harper, hired me for my experience and not my certificates, as I had none that related to this job. But I had something more important. At that time, I was coaching a junior team in Germany that managed to attract a lot of young, talented players. That was what the NFL was interested in what I had accomplished. Because they could see my track record. They could see the results of my actions. And these results gave me a reputation. The reputation I had built gave the NFL the trust that I would be the right fit for this position. It got me this job, and it led to great results. I created a program that helped five German players get into the NFL playing professional football. Two simple words with a big meaning. Trust and reputation. In 2007, the league in Europe played the last championship game. After 11 years of working for the NFL, I was unemployed for the first time. I had just bought a house. My daughter was four years old. I was devastated. What did I have to offer a new employer? I was great at scouting players and preparing them for a football career. But who needs that in Europe, where soccer is the number one sport? And I did not even try to get a coaching job in the US because my reputation as a coach was not strong enough. After many years, or after one year actually, of applying to many jobs, I finally found a position in digital marketing. The hiring manager believed that my reputation, even though it was built in a different context, was still helpful for the job he was hiring for. I became a product manager at T-Online. And it was a huge change and challenge for me to work on virtual topics after I worked with athletes the whole time. But the hiring manager was correct. My coaching skills helped me to create a team out of online news editors. And we exceeded every goal that was set for us. In 2014, after six and a half years of working for T Online, I was ready for a new challenge. I felt confident I had built up enough reputation in different industries now that I could take on any position. So I moved to Switzerland. I became the head of sales for a mobile banking startup. And that's where I learned about blockchain. Blockchain finally mentions it. Okay, so here we go. A developer, Roberto Barbosa, he explained to me the technical novelty of this new, of this, of Bitcoin. But most importantly, he explained to me the philosophy behind blockchain. And this really opened my eyes, because blockchain philosophy has two fundamental elements I found so important in my career. It's trust and reputation. A blockchain is actually just a database. The beauty, though, is that the outcome of every transaction is stored in many different places at the same time, which makes it impossible to change data in a fraudulent way. If you take the word transaction and delete the first part, it leaves you with action. So every action I do on a blockchain gets stored as a, and is unchangeable. If you remember what I said about the NFL when I got the job there, action leads to reputation. 
A blockchain gains more reputation the more action it stores. Just like the more positive outcomes I show in my career, the more reputation I gain in my job. But it is important to understand that the blockchain is digital. Digital means something is either one or zero. There is no other option. In case of reputation, this means it either happened and I can prove it through the blockchain, or it never happened. But it's also important to understand that reputation on a blockchain is not like a rating system, as we know it from many websites today. It has no sentiment. It is objective. And therefore, we can compare one person's reputation with another person's reputation. But let's jump into the future, let's say 10 years from now, and let's see what this new technology will help us with. Transportation will be done by driverless cars. They take us anywhere. And these cars don't even need an owner. We pay the car with a cryptocurrency. And the cars use the payment to pay for electricity and for pay maintenance. They pay it themselves. We buy goods on digital marketplaces directly from the people that create the goods. The marketplace itself just provides the infrastructure for the people to do business on top of it, but it does not interfere with that. But something else affects the price of a good. Reputation. If the person buying has high reputation, he's more trustworthy, which means the deal or the transaction on a blockchain is more likely to go through without trouble than with a person with low reputation. A greater risk or less trust results in a higher price for a good, just like your credit score influences your interest rate. In this new future, we don't say we go to work anymore, because we can work from anywhere and for anyone. Sometimes we don't even know who we work for. The work we do is based on tasks, and these are based on agreements. In the blockchain world, an agreement is called a smart contract, which is computer code that simply defines if this happens, then do that. So this could replace our employment contract and even includes the payment process. If we finish the task and the outcome is as expected, the smart contract automatically pays out. If the outcome is not as expected, the smart contract has rules to deal with that situation. As every product we use is built on the blockchain, every action we have is stored and all the time, we generate reputation on the blockchain. And our identity is the sum of all the reputation we gain over time. Blockchain identity is what now allows us to really trust the person we deal with, because we know it has derived from actions that have really happened. It is possible to gain the same reputation through actions as it is through studying at the, in this future. Maybe we even believe in these actions more than in the reputation based on certificates. Nobody knows the creator of the Bitcoin blockchain. We only know him as Satoshi Nakamoto. But still, we believe in him because he has proven what he wrote in his white paper can be built. Vitalik Buterin, the creator of the, Bitcoin, of the Ethereum blockchain, has dropped out of college. If he would have applied for the job to create a blockchain, probably nobody, nobody would have hired him. If I'm looking for a job again in 10 years, probably I get jobs offered based on my skills. The skills I have proven to be correct because the blockchain shows them. The employer will see people that match the skills and he will take the person that has the, the best combination of price and reputation. It will look like a matching engine for all of us. Maybe we're not even 10 years away from this. 
This is not as futuristic as you might think. Today, a lot of blockchain projects are open source, which means the code they develop is openly accessible. Developers join these projects because they see the code, they can read it, and they believe in the vision that this project wants to create. They even get paid in the cryptocurrency of this project, which has the benefit that if the developer creates value for users, then the cryptocurrency will generate more value. The developers believe in this vision, which creates a like-minded culture of people. But let's compare this to the hiring process as we know it today to see the real difference. A job description is posted. The hiring manager receives many, if not hundreds, of applications. Then a very rough filter comes to play. It has a degree on one side, has no degree on the other side. Has, uh, on the other side. Maybe there's a third pile, has a nice letter of application. Then the line manager receives the approved pile and goes through with a very subjective filter. So finally, he finds five to 10 candidates he wants to interview. I think we all know this process. So this takes around two months to find a person for a job. But this does, does not mean this person will create value for the company and fits the culture. Guess what? Some people even train for the application process. They might not fit the position, but they're great at mastering the application. If this person does not fit the position or the culture of the company, that's eight months' time lost. Remember when I told about Jochen Bohle, who hired me at T-Online, he looked at the reference letter of the NFL and believed in my coaching background. Actually, I could have easily forged that. So there's no truth in it, to some degree. Most of you, I believe, are not involved in the blockchain project, or your project is not developed open source or community driven. But still, you should remember these three powerful messages that the blockchain technology has incorporated. Reputation is built from your actions. Your identity is the result of your reputation, which is the sum of your actions. Trust is built on your reputation, and it really helps when you know that it derived from actions that have really, really happened. Today, I explained to you, or you believe me, that I was recruited by the NFL. In the future, this can be easily verified. The next time you will hear someone explain blockchain technology, you will know it has more to offer than just the financial value of Bitcoin.